Hi everyone, Kathy Rose here. I'm going to talk to you about the astrological patterns for December 2023. We have a really fascinating month coming up and a lot of activity. We begin with the Sun and Mars in Sagittarius and we get purple flavors. So if you're someone um, who thinks in terms of color and frequency like I do, you will notice that December with the purple energies is very different than November, which had the red, the deep reds and the passion. So um, we, we get to elevate the energy in a different way in December. Let me explain. As we talk about the themes for December, there are three main things I want to talk about, which is number one, there's an energy of negotiation that's going to begin because we get to receive a beautiful Mercury retrograde, um, which is always interesting when it happens during a holiday season with a lot of the holiday travel. So I'm going to talk about that in just a few slides here. We get action energy that is very, very strong all through December because Mars will be in Sagittarius for the month. And we get clarity because Neptune ends the retrograde on December 6th and will be in direct motion until July. And that's very, very significant because as Neptunian energy gets to circulate and move forward again, 2024 is a fascinating time with Neptunian energy. Um, I'll talk about that more when we get to the January video next month. Okay, so negotiation, action, and clarity are the main themes for the month. There's also something else before I, before I deeply dive into the Mercury retrograde. I want to talk about the fact that we have Aries point activation with Mercury, which is offering us information being revealed. So just a real quick explanation about Aries point. Um, that's the zone of the Zodiac when zero cardinal gets activated. Zero cardinal, cardinal signs are Aries, Cancer, Libra, Capricorn. And when a planet hits zero cardinal, any one of those four signs, we call it the Aries point because it, it's like it opens the door to the world stage. It is public projection being very strong. We are going to have Mercury activating the Aries point twice because of the retrograde. Very unusual. December 1st, the month begins with Mercury entering Capricorn, hitting that Aries point. And then it's going to retrograde and it'll go back into Sagittarius and it will hit zero Capricorn again in the middle of January. And what this does is opens the door for information that needs to come forward to be publicly projected. Now, that might be in politics or in the world stage. It can also be within your own life. So be ready because there may be some clarity of thinking. There may be some new ideas. Um, and it's fascinating that we get this twice, which is very unusual. On this slide, I'm going to talk to you deeply about Mercury retrograde. Um, it begins on December 13th, and the Mercury retrograde is going to begin at 8 degree Capricorn. Now, if you have planets in your natal chart or angles in your natal chart, anywhere between 22 Sagittarius and 8 Capricorn, then you are going to receive this activation for Mercury um, probably three times during the retrograde. So those are going to be sensitive zones. So if you know your chart well, and you know you have planets or angles, 22 Sagittarius to 8 degree Capricorn, I say look forward to it. I have planets in that zone, and I literally am looking forward to this because I know when I receive Mercury retrograde energy, I have a super productive time, not only in my thinking, but in my writing, in my clarity, and in my life. So let's talk about this whole cycle. Mercury retrograding during holiday season when we have so much travel taking place and gift giving. Um, here's what I have to say. I urge you not to buy into the fears that are projected all over social media about Mercury retrograde during a holiday season. 
Um, you do not have to experience delays or difficulties or problems. Remember, the, the real theme with Mercury retrograde is to learn how to be flexible, even if there are a change in plans. Doesn't guarantee a, plane, a change in plans. I've traveled many times during Mercury retrograde and perfect flow. But it is important to remain flexible and lighthearted, nimble on your feet during a Mercury retrograde and nimble in your thinking. That makes a world of difference and things seem to work out really well. The problems occur when you get rigid or tight or stressed. Okay, so December 13th, Mercury begins the retrograde at 8 Capricorn. And um, it's actually going to retrograde back into Sagittarius right before Christmas, if you celebrate Christmas on December 23rd. Um, and then we get some really interesting mixtures of energy because right after Christmas, December 27th, Mercury and Mars will conjoin and they will also square Neptune. So Mercury in the retrograde phase will be conjunct Mars and square Neptune at 24 degrees Sagittarius on the 27th. So it, during Christmas, if that's the holiday you celebrate, when family and friends are gathered, you're gonna need to understand that communication energy is gonna be very, very strong at that time. And it could be flavored with incredible creativity. That's the most positive way to interpret this. But Neptune adds creativity. Um, January 1st, Mercury ends the retrograde. In Eastern time, it's going to be at 10.08 p.m. If you live in Europe, it's going to be on January 2nd. But Mercury ends the retrograde. I love to think about the fact that that happens on New Year's Day and how that activates such clarity and thinking and completion and digestion of what was going on in December to start your New Year's resolutions. And then remember, December 13th, it's not on screen, but I mentioned it in the slide earlier. That's when Mercury enters Capricorn again and hits that Aries point. And then I wanted to point out January 27th, we get a second Mercury-Mars conjunction. This time it's going to be in Capricorn when, remember, on December 27th, it was in Sagittarius. Mercury-Mars conjunct is fascinating because it energizes our communication and our thinking. And it can, it can sometimes be aggressive and too blunt and direct and bold, argumentative sometimes, but it doesn't have to be. It can be just powerful, motivational energy flowing through your beliefs, your thoughts, your communications. It can be incredibly productive, but it's going to be a very different energy in January when it's in Capricorn, which is much more grounded and practical and structured and strategic than when it's in December in Sagittarius, which is blunt, direct, and to the point. So you can have a lot of fun with this around the Christmas holidays in December with Mercury retrograde and Sagittarius because it's going to activate knowingness, um, the psychic sense of prophecy, which is to just know and not know why you know. It's when information pops into your head with nothing to back it up. In fact, the new moon in Sagittarius is going to be December 12th. And I'm not going to show you the chart here because I'm going to do a special video on that, a separate video. But as the new moon is in Sagittarius with Mercury retrograde and that new moon is going to be square Neptune, that just opens the door to intuition flowing spectacularly well with instantaneous knowingness. Um, that sense of prophecy, as I mentioned. In fact, one of my podcasts, I talk about the four psychic senses. And prophecy is difficult for a lot of people. And I'm not talking about prophecy, meaning you are just talking about future information. I mean, instant knowingness. It's hard for some people because there's nothing to back it up. It just comes in as a, as a complete thought that pops into your head. You know, and you don't know why you know. 
but that door is open for all of December. And I say, trust it, flow with it and have fun with it, especially right around that new moon in Sagittarius. December 21st, we have the sun entering Capricorn, hitting the Aries point again. And I want to show you a graphic that explains um, when the sun hits the Aries point during the year, which is the beginning of each season. Um, now, what's showing on screen is oriented more to the northern hemisphere. So if you look on the left side of the graphic and you see the winter solstice begins December 21st or 2nd, this year it's going to be December 21st. That's winter in the northern hemisphere, but it's summer in the southern hemisphere. And I have a lot of people who watch my videos in the southern hemisphere, so I want to be fair. But the Aries point is activated each time a season begins when the sun activates zero cardinal. And it's a very special time. It's a time when information can be revealed to you and clarity can be revealed to you. So we get that on December 21st with the winter solstice or the summer solstice, depending on where you live. And then we have a beautiful full moon in Cancer. Um, it's taking place December 26th, 7.33 p.m. Eastern time. And this one is spectacular in so many ways. The key word for the full moon in Cancer on December 26th is emotional sensitivity, psychic sensitivity, um, and incredible creative energies. Um, the emotional sensitivity is moon and cancer. I mean, this is when we get to be sentimental with our families, lots of hugs, lots of appreciation, lots of deep, wonderful family connection, whether it's with your biological family or your friends, which feel like family to you. Um, but it's a time when sensitivity will be high, nurturing each other, cooking together, um, infusing the food that we cook with healing and loving energy. This is all very, very strong. Um, but the incredible psychic sensitivity or spiritual sensitivity flows through because Neptune is going to be square to Mars and Mercury at that time. Remember, I showed you that on the screen when I talked about Mercury retrograde. It's not exact on the 26th, although Mercury is exact square Neptune, but it hasn't quite reached Mars on that day. Nonetheless, this full moon in Cancer is powerful on so many levels, and I would invite you to take some quiet time to meditate or create and receive the prophetic knowingness that wants to come in at that time. The doors are open for you to have an easy flow for instantaneous insight right around that time. It's just beautiful. I love it. And the Mercury retrograde is going to be working to uncover new thoughts for you. So my final thoughts for December. Um, the picture says it all. Think globally. Send energy out to the earth. Of course, I recommend you do that all the time. But particularly in December, as we activate those strong Neptunian energies and the strong Mercury retrograde flowing back into Sagittarius, point that energy into sending out lovingness to the earth and lovingness to all the people, maintaining your own equilibrium and your own lovingness in your energy field, living in that state. But think globally. The doors will be open and it will be easier for you to connect with the spirit of the earth and the entire um, population of the earth, not only in humans, but in animals and in nature. So December can open up some really beautiful spiritual energy for us and an alignment wants to take place. All right, so I am wishing you happy holidays for December, whatever you happen to celebrate. And if you don't celebrate anything, then celebrate yourself as we go through December. 
I wish you the very blessed, many blessings and lots of love flowing to you. And I look forward to seeing you at the new moon in Sagittarius video mid-month. Bye for now.